And the next is archaeological anthropology. So, um, see, archaeological anthropology is something that you have to have, um, you know, fingertips. Okay, fingertips. Okay, and when I'm talking about this, I'm basically talking about lower Paleolithic and then uh, middle, upper, uh, meso, neo, chalco, uh, bronze. Okay, with special emphasis on which one? IVC, right? And this, uh, do special prep. Okay, be thorough. Okay, and then you have your Iron Age, megalith, uh, along with that same period. Okay, Iron Age, okay, megalith, and so on and so forth, right? So all of these things you can have. So what do you need to uh, remember here? See, first thing is, um, make short notes here. Okay, make short notes. If you have a booklet that is like some 80 pages, 100 pages, that becomes difficult for you to revise. So have it in, in a much shorter sort of a, a, try to have like, you know, just uh, how many do we have here? Uh, lower Paleolithic, Middle Paleolithic, Upper Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then keep the world as well. Okay, so try to keep this entire thing within uh, 15 pages, 15 A4 sheets. Okay, max. Okay, 15 A4 sheets. Okay, 15 A4 sheets, I would, I would say 15 sites. Okay, 15 sites, some, okay. And keep that for your entire module and then revise this on a daily basis so that you'll be able to remember this thing, okay. Um, because a lot of you, you know, uh, you feel like, you know, you've actually inserted too many of these things into your uh, short-term sort of memory, but not necessarily in your long-term sort of memory, right? But if you can get it in this, okay, you can send it from your short-term memory to long-term memory. And I'll tell you a couple of tricks for this. Uh, okay, see, uh, tricks essentially would be more revisions Okay, and the second thing, more importantly, is more frequent revisions. And when you're revising, don't keep a whole day for revision. Uh, don't keep uh, three hour slots. Okay, keep it for tw uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, that's it. Keep it for 10 to 20 minutes. That's it. You know, just tell yourself that just before lunch, I'm going to do it. Or just after lunch, I'm going to revise it. And do it, you know, more frequent revision. Three times a day. Three times a day. Okay, three times a day. Trust me, this will at one point become, you know, uh, one of those topics that you don't have to revise after this. Otherwise, I think it becomes uh, really challenging. Yeah, you know, uh, each time if you have to write it, if, if, if you believe that you can only write after having like some short little sort of revision, it becomes very difficult. Okay, it takes up too much of your time. So instead, just do more frequent revision three times a day, twice a day. Okay, and then you do it for a week, try for a week. Okay, then see. Okay, and then see. It'll work, it'll work, okay? These are these are uh, research, okay? Proven by research, okay? These are all proven study techniques, okay? Proven study techniques. Okay, proven study hacks, okay? This, this'll work, okay? So just, just give it a try. So some of you had asked me this particular question during the mentorship session. So I'm just uh, answering this thing here as well, okay? So that is that. See, uh, how do you score, uh, uh, how do you prepare? Okay, let's talk about this first. Okay, so how do you prepare? So um, here are some of the elements that I would probably talk about. Okay, so one thing is diagrams and focus on the essentials. Okay, so in case you're writing an answer um, in your introduction, I want to see a few aspects here. Okay, the first thing is essentially the time period. The time period, when did it occur? Okay, for lower Paleolithic, let's say for lower Paleolithic. So what was the time period that, that it existed? Okay, next thing is what was the climatic regime, right? Climatic regime. Okay, and then I would probably want to know um, what were the tools like? What were the kind of location? Was it uh, uh, widespread or uh, was it, um, you know, uh, what, what are the regional sort of variations here? Okay. Um, what is the man associated? Okay, put all of these things into your introduction. Okay, so that means you have covered this. Yes, you'll probably get, you know, certain amount of marks, half mark here, half mark here, half mark here, half mark here, half mark here. Not only that, they also have a very crisp idea within the first 30 words. Okay, first 30 words, they know you know. Okay, they know 
you know okay you are very crisp okay and you've been able to handle all their questions you know in a decent manner another sort of a way so this is how to prepare right so you focus on these okay and the rest of it i'm sure you know about the body right so in the body uh, some of the elements that i would tell you is you know focus on the tools okay within the tools whether it is a tool typology okay it could be the typology okay it could be the tool uh, uh, techniques of manufacturing okay the materials used and so on okay climatic regime you've already mentioned here but in case you want to talk about it you could focus especially if it's a transitional period like your mesolithic because it, it, it ties into that or if it's middle period very very cold so it ties into that and then you basically talk about the features okay and also the regional variations regional variations or regional sites okay you can talk about many of these things and then you can conclude okay so in this one you also would want to have some diagrams see i believe the diagrams help but I don't uh, uh, subscribe to this idea that your paper should be completely filled with diagrams. Um, why so? Because I feel like, you know, there are some places in which um, the diagrams are really worth it and it is going to definitely add value. In the other places, you have to decide whether it adds value. And then if it adds value, then you go ahead and sort of insert it into your, uh, you know, um, into that space. Because I believe that, you know, you have limited space and if you have more content, just try to express that content well. Uh, if you can do that better with diagrams, then go ahead and do it. But I would say that when it comes to archaeology and later on today itself, we will talk, also talk about fossils. There also it adds a good amount of value. Now, if you can take a look at this particular picture, um, generally I say for diagrams, okay, I generally say 60 seconds per question, okay, but for fossils and archaeology, okay, fossils and archaeology, I would say even 90 seconds is fine. Because if they see the tools that is drawn here, and these are all uh, uh, the ones that I had drawn, and these are from my practice. Okay, these are from my practice. Okay, my practice of 60 seconds. Okay, 60 seconds. And that includes my um, labeling. Okay, I would have, you know, uh, low paleolithic tools and all of that. And these are essentially the ones that I've tried practicing. So how do you practice this? I used to practice 15 minutes. Okay, in morning, right in the morning. So this helped me until uh, a point where if I say low paleolithic, I, I know this entire structure. I, I would have, you know, this on top and then this next and this here and this here and this here. So all of these things are like sort of, uh, uh, okay, all of these things are basically, you know, something that I would practice until, you know, I, I feel uh, comfortable that my diagrams are essentially better than the other person's diagrams. Okay, because I want to give them an idea that if you look at the pictures, uh, at least from a 3D perspective, you know for sure that I know what the tools are like, okay? And I can, anything that I talk about from now on is going to be very sort of, uh, uh, you know, um, I've already made my mark, right? So I, I've already given you exactly what the tools are like. Essentially, archaeology is about tools, guys. Okay, archaeology is basically about tools. Okay, archaeology is basically about tools. So if you if you can explain the tools aspect really well and then reconstruct some social cultural aspects, you've got your uh, this one. So again, you know, this is your middle paleolithic tools that I have drawn. So if you see I'm drawing with my pen, uh, you know, but if the practice is not good enough, so if you see these are all practice uh, elements, right? So I got this wrong. So see, okay, this is something that you want to avoid. So if we practice, we can avoid this in uh, exam uh, but this is not an option for me writing with pencil is not an option for me because i'm always uh, hard pressed for some time right so I, I don't have that ability to draw with a pencil erase with a pencil then draw with a pen okay i have to get it right in this particular manner itself but this, this is fine you know you can see most of the tools you know different kinds of scrapers and borers and burin and and scraper uh, burin and and so on and so forth Okay, uh, you have hafting, uh, hafting tools as well. So that basically means that, you know, you have one element here, right? And then you have the second element here, which are essentially connected through a small little vine or a thread. Okay, that is the three different things that has been put together, which we start seeing somewhere in the middle paleolithic, right? No, but when you see this, it is very clear that, uh, you know, the, the, what the tool is like, right? This is the tool is like, so take a look at this. So this is also your one. Okay, this is your two, and this is your three. Okay, so. And similarly, this is mine. Okay, so again, come back to mine. So this is again my practice. So uh, so what you see, this seems kind of easier for me. You know, this is essentially you go like this. Okay, it should not be symmetric and then give a uh, shading in one side. So basically that gives you a little bit of a 3D effect uh, and, and you have your uh, button de commandment or uh, baton de commandment, right? If you want to be French, right? So, so exactly what it is. You can even give other theories. Okay, what are these? What is this? Okay, what are the theories here? 
Okay, one of them says that this this is essentially something that is being held by the political leader. Some of them say it is the religious leader. Some even say yin and yang. Okay, there is a hole here, and this 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 almost like the female or the the male sort of a genital uh, portion. Some even say that there's a sex toy. You know, uh, something along those lines. You know, there are many of these theories uh, when you talk about archaeology, right? So, and these are harpoons. Okay, harpoons. These are harpoons. Okay, so what are these harpoons for? Uh, how will they use it? Bone needles. How how do they come into uh, uh, you know? Um, picture like so 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 these are the ones okay so more practice so this is my mesolithic right lunates uh, trapeze triangles right so so on and so forth so this this will do this will do okay so i hope this is sort of clear okay this is your extra one to two marks and these are your neolithic sort of tools and at least you can see what are the kind of tools like you can give the different sort of angles okay saddle one okay ring stone or uh, uh, you know um, uh, so 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 all of those things kind of very very uh, simple diagrams more than enough okay simple but effective okay simple but effective okay we'll call this simple but effective okay these are all easy tricks tricks to score more okay if you think that you know how to score more in in uh, so like what you can do uh, let's say that you're spending another sort of let's say uh, 50 60 hours in your anthropology uh, to study for your anthropology uh, you might be thinking um, where do i go for it so these are these are the areas in which you could possibly uh, see if you can score a little more right uh, some of you might already know where to score okay if, if your content is not done if your preparation is not complete then you go ahead and focus on that but if you feel like that is done but i still I, i'm yet to find areas in which i can get that extra one to two so this is the portion where you're going to go okay 